Houdini 21 is out, and we have this new thing called Live Simulation, where we can continuously play back simulations without relying on our timeline, and it'll simulate indefinitely. So let's take a look at how that works and some of the quirks of it. So I have this scene set up here. All I have is a couple of different things. We're gonna take a look at SOPs as well as COPs, and we're gonna start off in COPs. There are some differences between the two, so I wanna cover both of them, and there's some different weird stuff that goes on in SOPs versus COPs. So there's going to be this flow solver here that we have set up, and we have um, just a couple of things wired in. I'm not gonna cover how this all works in this video, I already have a video on my channel that shows how this all works. So if you wanna learn more about the flow solver that is new to 21, then check out that video. But in here we have this setup. And if I come to this block end, you can see that we have this toggle right here that allows us to toggle on live simulation. And once we do that, we have a couple of options that pop up. We have toggle live simulation, and then we have this live tick. So if I go ahead and click this, it's going to turn on our live simulation and it's going to continue to work through and simulate indefinitely. So once we get past 240, you're going to see that it doesn't stop. It continues to simulate here. So I can click that again and it's going to go ahead and pause it. I can click this reset simulation and it's going to bring everything back to the start. There's also a couple of buttons down here that we need to take a look at. If I take a look at this first one here on the left, it is click to enable slash disable live nodes. So this is you're going to be your toggle. So if I right click on this, we can also enable and disable which nodes are available to the live simulation. So if I uncheck this copnet one, you can see it's going to uncheck that parameter right there. So we just toggle that back on and I can click that. And once I do, it's going to start to simulate again. I can click it again and it's going to stop. And then we also have this button that is right next to it that kind of looks like a pink brain. And with that, this is going to be a toggle for simulation. So you can turn simulations on and off with this, but I can also control click and that's going to reset our simulations without having to be on, you know, the, the node here. There's also a hotkey called the pause break on your keyboard. If I press that, it's going to go ahead and just start our simulation. So I can start to do stuff over here. I can pause that with the hotkey and then I can come over to our little brain, control click and reset our simulation. That way we don't have to jump back to our block end. So that's how this works inside of COPS. Outside of COPS, it's very similar. Similar. So we're going to take a look at the pop nets. Now you'll have to pay attention to which nodes actually have this or which simulation types have this because I don't know if all of them have the live simulation. But on a pop net here, if I come back to our cache, we have this live simulation here. Now, if I control click here on our brain, it should reset our simulation and turn everything back to zero. It does not work inside of SOPs, it looks like. So you will need to come back and just set this live tick back to zero. I can control click now and it's going to reset our simulation. We also have this toggle that's going to toggle it on and off like normal. But I wanted to point out that that does not reset your, your live tick here. So if I go ahead and start that, if I also come to this simulation, I can click reset simulation. It's going to reset our sim, but it doesn't set our live tick back to zero. I think that is supposed to happen, but it doesn't happen in this case. So I'm guessing that's probably a bug, but I can't say for sure. So let's look at some other things here. So with our pop net, one thing that is important to do or something that's common that you do is use the frame to determine activation. So let's do dollar FF equals equals one. And if I come back out of here and uncheck this live simulation, I can press play and you can see that we get points spawning only on that first frame. And if we reset, let's come back and turn on this live simulation again, and let's start this. You can see, well, it should should be not working. There are some some weirdness to this. Oh, that's because I forgot to turn that on. Um, let's pause this again. Let's reset our simulation and come back to the start. Let's toggle this back on. 
there are some some weird things with our um, simulations. So let's come back here. I don't know. Oh, there we go. Because I'm not on frame one. There we go. Sometimes um, if you're off of frame one, it will not want to work uh, properly as well. So make sure you're on frame one. Like I said, there's still some weird things that happen with live simulations. Should I'm sure that they will get ironed out here. Let's come in here and reset this. And let's come back and just start that again. And now you can see what I was trying to demonstrate, <laughs> that this does not work with the live simulation. And that is because it's not working off of the frame. It's working off of this live tick or this tick rate, basically. So there's a couple different ways that we can go about trying to resolve this. We can come in here and we can use something else. So there is $SF, which is going to use our sim frame. There's also $ST that you can use. It's going to use you know simulation um, times and frames instead of trying to use your actual frames. So let's come in here and let's press start now. And you can see that that's going to emit only on the first frame of our simulation there. So that's one way to do it. The other way that I would also recommend that's going to be just as reliable or even maybe more reliable in certain uh, cases is to use this live tick instead. So we can actually come in here and we can copy the parameter. And this is also a fail safe for if this doesn't you uh, know, reset all the way. I'm not sure if it'll cause any issues with your um, with your like dollar ST if this isn't reset. Um, if you don't, if you have that set in your actual like uh, constant activation, so just be aware that uh, you might run into some issues using that if your you know your frame tick doesn't get reset. So let's use the live tick instead, and let's do paste uh, relative references, and then we can do equals to zero, and then that's going to just emit on our first frame here. So let's just go up here. Make sure that we are fully reset and I can start that again. And now we get only on the first frame. And again, we can still use like the same things that we normally do. So let's do less than 10 and come back here, reset our simulation. Make sure that we're back on tick zero and we can start that. You can see that after you know, those 10 ticks, we're going to stop emitting our particles. So there are some weird things with this. Again, I can control click down here to reset that. But unless we have this set back to zero, it's not going to work properly. So just be aware that there are some quirks still that I'm sure that they're going to work out. But you need to know about them in order to, to work with this effectively. Within COPS, I don't think I haven't ran into any of those issues. So um, even with the pyro, so if I wanted to drop down like the pyro, let's do the billowy smoke. We can do that with this as well. If we come to this block end, check this live simulation, I can toggle that or press play, and then that's going to continue to simulate here. And then if I pause it again and I control click there, it resets in here. So for some reason outside of COPS, it doesn't reset properly. I'm not sure what the issue is with that, but uh, I'm sure that that's something that is not intended and that they are going to get fixed at some point here. So anyways, hopefully this has helped you out. It's a little introduction to live simulations and how they work. And hopefully it kind of cleared up some confusion that you might have with uh, the live simulations and some areas that you might run into if you start using it outside of cops. But anyways, thank you guys for watching and have a good day.